So to get started, this is Meg from Aim Fitness Online, and today I'm going to be demonstrating some exercises specifically for those of you with osteoporosis. All right, so let's get started. All right, good to see everybody. Good to see everyone live for this video. Um, this is Meg from Aim Fitness Online, and I'm going to be um, focusing on osteoporosis friendly exercises. So we're going to start with a warm up. We're going to start by taking a side step and swing those arms from side to side. Now, if you're watching live with me today, be sure to leave a one in the comment section. And if you're watching the replay, you can leave a two. Good. Okay, good, I'm just readjusting my <laughs> camera here. All right, awesome. So when we think about exercising, when we think about when we think about exercising with osteoporosis, we really want to think about weight bearing exercises. So this means using our whole weight, our full body weight, as we're moving. So from here, we're gonna to move to a march. Now this can look like a really gentle walk on the spot, just like this, or you may choose to lift your knees a little bit higher, swinging your arms a little bit more as well, and really think about pressing down into the floor with your feet, all right? All right, now let's breathe in and out as we go, inhaling in through your nose and out, exhale out through your mouth. All right, good. Now let's take those legs a little bit wider, both feet facing the front of the room, and we're gonna be shifting our weight from one leg to the other. Now, I, I work with a lot of people who do have osteoporosis, and one thing um, a lot of them say is that they are worried about falling because they've been told by their doctor that if they have a fall, they could easily fracture um, a bone. And this is true, if you do have especially severe osteoporosis, um, falls are um, a big risk for a fracture or for a break. So we want to think about moving our bodies in ways that are safe so that you're protecting your spine, but also we want to think about um, building up your confidence, building up your, your balance and your strength so you feel safer for everyday tasks. All right, so I've got five exercises planned. The first one is going to be using weights. So grab your weights, and I just want to show you the best way to lean over and reach for something if you have osteoporosis. So one foot in front of the other. We want to think about keeping your back nice and straight, but hinge at your hips. So bend those knees, hinge at your hips, place a hand on your knee, and then reach down to pick something up. So that's the best way to do it. We want to avoid rounding or curling your back like this. That puts a lot of pressure on your spine. So let's do it again. Bending into your knees, reaching, leaning one hand against that opposite knee. Lean, keeping your back straight and press up through your legs. All right. So our first exercise is going to be focusing on legs, leg strength, and also upper body strength. So I want you to walk your feet so your feet are nice and wide. Hold on to both of the weights right in front of you, and we're going to start with a wide squat. So it looks like this. Bend the knees. Knees should be going the same direction as your toes, and then straighten your legs. As you lift, lift those weights up towards your chin. Elbows are high, and straighten the arms down. Okay, so we'll do this again. Bending into those knees, straightening the legs, and lift the weights. So inhale, breathing in and breathing out here. All right, good. So today, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing about 10 repetitions of each exercise, but you can choose to do uh, up to 15 repetitions, especially if this is not your first um, video, <laughs> you've done lots of these uh, workouts with me, you can always do a few more repetitions as I'm describing the next exercise. All right, good. So this is weight bearing. So meaning our weight, we're lifting our weight, we're using our strength and strengthening not just our muscles, but also our bones. One more time, bending into those knees, keeping our back straight the whole time. OK, 
Good, and let's release. Now, a better way to, to put the, where to put the weights is somewhere that you don't have to lean too far. So I like to leave them on the chair. I suggest doing that in between exercises because we'll use them again. All right, our next one we're gonna be doing for the legs is a, some taps. So I want you to tap your toe out to the side and with our arms, we're gonna reach out to the side. Now think about standing nice and tall. I do have a chair. I like to have a chair handy when I do these videos because some of you may want to hold on when you're exercising. So this is another really good exercise um, for a weight, good weight bearing exercise, good for our hips, good for our legs. So tap that toe to the side, reaching the arms. This gives you a good stretch as well for your upper body. All right, now you can choose to do a small tap or you can take your foot a little bit further from the other. And this also gets the heart rate up. Also, that's a good thing too. All right, good. So breathing in and out. Notice how you're feeling. Good, let's do a few more, three per side. So three and two and one. All right, great job, great job. So that one you should feel in the hips, that's a good one to strengthen the hips. And a lot of people who do fall um, fracture a hip. So the stronger our hips are, the better, and the more we could prevent that from happening. So exercise number three, we're going to need our weights again. So grab bow your weights, both of your weights. All right, this time we're going to be doing an, a variation of a lunge. Um, a typical lunge may look like this with one foot in front of the other. We're gonna bring our feet a little closer so that both feet are flat on the floor as we do this. So option one is to just hold on to your weights right in front of you and we're gonna bend your knees and then straighten your legs. Your feet should be as wide as your hips. So double check that we have our feet staggered so one foot is slightly in front of the other. So I'll, I'll demonstrate a few different ways so you can see. Uh, again, we want to keep our back nice and straight, so avoid rounding, don't do that, but instead think about hinging from your hips, taking your hips back as you bend your knees. All right, and we want to have both of our feet facing the front of the room and look straight ahead. That will be better for balance. All right, good. Now if you want to just hold it here, this is Enough for you, you're noticing just with the weights in your hands that you're working a little extra, that's good. Or you can also choose to bring your arms out to the side and then bend your knees and bring your hands in. So out as you stand tall, bend your knees, arms in. Arms out, arms in. All right, continuing on, we'll do three more and two. And one. All right, good. So change legs, bring the opposite foot in front of the other. Just like you're taking a step forward, the feet are as wide as your hips. We're gonna do the same thing. Option one is having your weights right in front of you. Just focusing on the legs is great. You've got extra weight that you're lifting with you. If you're holding on to some weights, keep them close to your chest. And then option number two, adding the arms. Good, so lifting those elbows, breathing in and out. All right, great job. And this is really good practice to hinge, keeping that back straight, strengthening your back, strengthening those, those legs. Good job, two more and one. All right, excellent. So you can really feel that one. Let's uh, lower the weights to the, to the chair. Good. Now another good weight bearing exercise is walking. So let's move into a walk, walk now. So I like to really think about marching. So this really gets the arms engaged. Think about squeezing your arms back as well as bringing your arms in front. And you can lift those knees nice and high or keep your feet a bit closer to the floor. All right, so here we go. So marching on the spot is really a good thing to do or even better is go for a walk. But uh, 
if it's a colder day or you don't really have that motivation to go outside, this works too. Or walk around your, your house or down the halls. All right, so what we're gonna add to this is we're gonna take a few steps forward and back. So just make sure you have enough space around you. So we'll do one, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three. One, two, three. So changing directions is something that may not feel natural because we don't do this all the time. Um, but this is really important. I work with a lot of people who are uh, older seniors. So we're in their 80s and 90s and they find that walking backwards is scary because they have not really done much of that in a long time. Maybe never. I don't think many of us really do walk backwards that often. But it's good for us. It's good for our brain and it's good to prepare to move in different directions because uh, you never know things that you do around the house whether it's vacuuming whether it's organizing your house getting ready in the morning um, you may move backwards and if you don't do it often you, you won't feel safe doing it so that's why we want to practice moving every way every way we can all right good let's do it two more times you may also feel your heart rate going up a bit here Good. One more time. All right. Excellent. All right. So we've got one more exercise. I want to remind you to leave a thumbs up and uh, recommend this video. Share it with a friend, especially those who you know who have osteoporosis. So what we're going to do for our last exercise, we're going to need your weight, just one. Practice hinging at your hips as you reach for your weight. And what we'll do here is we'll do our last weight bearing exercise. Feet about as wide as your hips. Hold on to that weight right in front of you. We're gonna start with our heel raise, lifting your heels from the floor, and then do a full circle. So heel raise and circle the other way. All right, so heels up. And we're going to circle right in front in between your heel raises. All right, now something else I would love to know is if you have osteoporosis or if this runs in your family. So let me know after you're done the workout with me, leave a comment below. Uh, again, letting me know if this is your first time watching or you've been watching for a while, um, but be sure to let me know, do you have osteoporosis and would you like to see more of these osteoporosis friendly videos? All right, good. So let's do a few more. This is good for the back of the legs. This will, this exercise helps with walking. And then again, we've got, got our weight bearing uh, exercise. So to, to build strength in our muscles and our bones. All right, good. And then changing directions each time works the brain. All right, excellent. Let's do three more. And then two. And one. All right, amazing. So set the weight down. All right, let's finish up with a few stretches. So we'll take your legs nice and wide. And we're gonna stretch the arms nice and wide as well. So breathe in and then give yourself a hug. Breathe out. There we go, breathing in and out. All right, good. One more time. And then we'll do a quick stretch for the legs. One leg in front of the other. We're gonna lift your back heel and then lift the front toe. And add the arms. We're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades back as we rock. All right, so reaching, squeeze back, lift the toe. Lift the heel, reach, and squeeze. All right, good. So you might feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs as you do this one and our back is Getting a good stretch and strength too. All right, one more time. And then we'll change legs, opposite foot in front. We'll do the same thing. All right, reach and squeeze. All right, good work. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's finish off with three more together. And two and one. 
All right, thanks everybody for being here. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your back. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing many more of these osteoporosis friendly workouts. And let me know below, uh, leave a one, and let me know if you have been watching my videos before, um, or number two, if you're finding that you have osteoporosis and you appreciated our workout today. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.